What is up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I just want to give my thoughts on the full approximately 30 hours of Violent J's audiobook. Now, you know what? I don't give a fuck that most people think that an ICP fan or a juggalo and shit like that is like a scumbag of society. That's one thing that it just kind of pisses me off that people, you know, think that. And yeah, guess what? There are juggalo scumbags. There are regular scumbags. So there's a scumbag in every group. So what? Um, the whole unity thing amongst Juggalos and ICP fans, Psychopathic Records fans, is like nothing I've ever seen. Um, it is, it really is amazing. I mean, I got into it at about 1999 when I saw ICP perform at Woodstock. And it was just something that I had actually seen Shockumentary. I remember the documentary that fucking uh, Hollywood Records paid for. And I remember seeing that. I'm like, who the fuck are these guys that throw soda? Then I never really thought anything else about it. And then I see these guys at Woodstock 99. And I'm like, oh shit. So I got a few of their albums. It started with the Riddle Box. And I'm like, okay. Okay, I'm hooked. And to tell you the truth, if you really look deep into the way that their whole thing is, you can tell it's about God. Not maybe God, like if you're Catholic or Christian or whatever, but a God. A God figure. So, it it really, when you look at the Joker's cards, it really does kind of show you how to leave. A, leave. It does kind of show you how to lead your life good. So, I mean, it's kind of funny how much hate they get. And people say they're not talented and this and that. Um, it's fucking bullshit. And, I mean, I've been in the music industry for so fucking long and I fucking respect the shit out of these guys they built a fucking empire based upon their music so I mean what can you really say the audiobook really veers off from the book so it's pretty cool to hear Violent J tell stories like he gets off topic and he'll see something and he'll remember something and talk about that and it's just really good the way that it flowed um they added sound effects into it and stuff like that so it's really good i mean i took probably like a week to listen to the whole thing. I was diligent in listening to it because I wanted to hear it. I saw there was like a lost chapter on it or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I totally got to check it and see what the fuck is up with it. Um, But yeah, I mean, everything right down to the fucking packaging of it with the USB drive that looks like the book. That I mean, they, they really go out with the way that the packaging is on shit. If you're a fan, then you will appreciate what the fuck is going on. And if you're not a fan, then you shouldn't even fucking talk about it. That's what I don't understand about music and fandom and shit like that. It's like, if you're not a fan of something... Why are you going to critique it? I'm a fan of ICP, and I feel like I could critique 
what it is that they're doing because I'm a fan and I know what I like about them and the shit that they talk about so I can critique what it is. Now, I might not like everything that they do and guess what? That's fine. People say that after they dropped that six jokers card that everything kind of changed and shit like that, but yeah, it did, because their entire thing that they were working for kind of came, and it's kind of like, what are we going to do now, or we're not going to retire, we still want to do this shit, we still got life in us, so I I just don't understand how people critique music, and and they just... They're not fans of the music that they're critiquing. I I totally under I, I totally understand where Jay was saying that in his book. The people that critique their music, they're either failed musicians or somebody that used to be in the music business or things like that. Or you're not a fan of the person. So, how can you critique something if you're not a fan of the person? I'm a firm believer in, if you're a fan, you can say almost what you want about what you think that music is doing. So, it's like, if you're a fan and you like the shit that they used to do back then, fucking listen to it. Don't, don't listen to any new shit. You know, I, I I just don't know what to say about shit like that. And I personally haven't been a fan of some of the shit that they've been dropping. But that's fine. I'm still going to rock with them. All day. All day long. And I'm going to see what they got going on. And how shit's going with them. But I would definitely say that the Violent J audiobook is totally worth your time to purchase and listen to whether it's on a long trip somewhere whether you just fucking put it on your iPod and fucking listen to it in your headphones and chill out every night to it it is a totally good listen it really is so i i totally give it like 5 stars i mean if you're a fan you're going to fucking love it. So, if you weren't at the gathering to buy one, go on HatchetGear.com, buy one of these fucking jump drives, and listen to what you have been missing out on in the world of ICP. Alright guys, peace.